Hey guys, hope you're doing real well. Today is another home theater room tour for you guys. I'm excited about this one and I can't wait for you guys to see it as this room has gone through a whooping 200,000 US dollars plus since the build and now featuring some serious gear such as the epic Trinov Altitude 32 with a JVC NX9 projector that you guys are going to love. In the meantime, we have a little background change today as you guys can see and that's because I'm doing some changes in the room on the other side which I can't show you guys just yet. So stay tuned for that. And last but not least, I'm sure you're probably wondering what I have in my hand. Well, I've recently replaced my ceiling LED strip lights with the brand Gervy from Amazon. And let me tell you guys, they are awesome. So I've decided to also change this LED strip light that's behind me for that much cooler effect. So if anyone's interested, check it out. Link is in the description box. And now let's check out this incredible 9.4.8 outrageous setup. Enjoy. So this room belongs to Adam from Spokane, United States. Adam owns an internet marketing company and is a man of many hobbies such as cooking, casual gaming, traveling, rocking his Ferrari 488 and of course watching movies in his home theater room. In 2014, he moved into his new house that had an unfinished basement with a lot of potential for a home theater room. So he did what any enthusiast will do and built a pretty epic home cinema from ground up. In the last seven years, he's made tremendous equipment changes, decor changes and upgrades, which now puts this room a price tag of above 200,000 US dollars. So let's not waste any more time and check out this super tasty home theater. Enjoy. Alright, so let's talk about the build process of this basement. This home theater room is 15 by 26 feet. At the time, this room was designed for a 7.1 standard setup with a very small build and acoustic treatment knowledge. Framework was a breeze and designed eight columns around the room with a ceiling bulkhead feature up above for a bit of character. Insulated all the walls and ceiling with rockwood type insulation. Completed wiring of audio cables. All electrical work such as the lighting and power sockets and closed it off with a sheet of drywall. Built a riser for a two level seating and finished the room off with a plush grey carpet. Step lights around the perimeter of the room and these elegant wall lights on each column complementing the black and red theme. Adam's one regret was he wished he had used two sheets of sheetrock with green glue which would have made a big difference acoustically with his current setup. After years of back and forth changing of equipment, he's finally at a stage where he's happy how the room looks and sounds. In saying that, let's go ahead and take a look at the surround setup in this room. As usual, starting from the front for left and right channels, Adam is using these aesthetically appealing Legacy Audio Focus SE full range loudspeakers. That is massive. These state-of-the-art spectacular four standing speakers feature dual one and four inch Airmotion tweeters dual 7-inch silver graphite mid-woofer with a dual 12-inch subwoofers. Weighing in at 135 LBs each with a price tag of $12,000, you're definitely in for a treat. 
In the middle of these twin towers is a worthy companion, which is the Legacy Audio Marquee XD center speaker. What a beast. Looks phenomenal and those high precision drivers I'm sure sounds incredible with those dual 12 inch ultra linear woofers. Making it a 12 inch subwoofers in total behind the screen. To that my friend I say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> For surround and rear speakers, Adam is using the elegantly styled Legacy Audio Silhouette Pro on-wall speakers. These three-way design beauties provide top-to-bottom performance with plenty of slam, and just recently he decided to add two more frontside speakers, which are the Legacy Audio Slant 7s, comfortably sitting on the walls of the front columns, providing great dynamics and resolution while maintaining an out-of-the-way footprint. Up above for Dolby Atmos experience, he's running not 4, not 6, but 8 Revel C763L in-ceiling loudspeakers. How good do these look? These gorgeous speakers feature high-order crossover network with premium quality components, delivering extraordinary accurate timbre production. And now, who loves some bass? I know I do. Check this out. So we've already got the 12-inch drivers behind the screen, but that's not good enough for Adam. He's also hooked up two Seaton 21 inch subwoofers, which look ridiculous. Love it. And if that's not enough, at the back of the room on either end of the entrance door are two more SVS PC13 Ultra subwoofers. These are about 47 inches high. The unique cylinder design looks slick and produces up to 3600 watts peak of soul shaking. But wait, there's more. Just thinking about it scares me. But take a look at this. That's right, you're looking at four cross-on bass shakers. Damn, I bet they are plenty of fun. Crazy stuff, shoot a comment down below if you guys think this is overkill or next level gear that every home theater should have. Let's go around the corner and take a look at what Adam is hiding in his AV rack. Now some of you guys might question his choice of AV rack, but believe it or not, this was the only way he could fit all of his expensive equipment as this rack is rated at 300 LBs which also has wheels at the bottom for easy moving around. It's ventilated, which is a big thumbs up and makes everything very easy to get to as he upgrades frequently. But let's go ahead and start from the top left. We have the almighty reference processor, the Trinov Altitude 32 pre-amplifier powering this room setup. This originally is equipped with 16 channels, but Adam recently upgraded its board and went from 16 to 24 channels in total, putting this beast a price tag of 35 US dollars. Holy cow, that's more than my entire home theater room. Of course, having the best processor deserves its very own world-class tune-up optimizer, which is recognized as best in its class by users and reviewers across the professional, commercial cinema, and high-end home audio worlds. To this day, this optimizer remains the most powerful and flexible calibration system available. Next to this is of course a laptop to configure his setup, making sure all channels are working to its full potential, update his gear, which is also hooked up to his mini DSP. Moving on to the second row to the left is the Monolith 5X amplifier, producing 200 watts per channel at eight ohms, powering his two Atmos speakers and cross-on bass shakers that's under his seats. And to his right is the Seaton 4000 watt amplifier, which is powering his two subwoofers behind the screen, and underneath it is my all-time favorite, a dream of mine, the Lumigan Radiance Pro 42 video processor that's designed to improve the image on your screen, especially for projectors that are equipped with anamorphic lens. Very expensive unit, but the adaptability of this awesome machine is second to none, and it's definitely more than just a HDMI switcher. Underneath it, Adams hooked up two Monolith 7X amplifiers, providing some serious juice to all of his bass and Dolby Atmos speakers. I'm a massive fan of these amplifiers. They're reliable and produce quality audio. Next to it is also the Synology NAS DS1813 storage disk station with a 100 terabyte Plex server that looks epic. And underneath it is the very quiet Panamax MR5100 power surge protector and conditioner, which is sitting in there nicely. Last but not least, to the very bottom of the AV rack, Adams hooked up the UB Dream Machine Pro networking unit, a PSU battery backup unit just in case the power goes off, Emotiva trigger hub, Nvidia Shield Pro, and an Apple 4K TV for streaming. For display, this is the 156 inch 2.35 to 1 acoustically transparent screen by Seymour XD, 
which allows you to bring a cinematic experience to your home with reference quality picture, which is used in leading film studios for mastering. Around the screen, front side walls and ceiling, he's also installed Protostar light absorption material to reduce light scattering to increase screen contrast and create a more intimate viewing experience. High quality screen calls for high quality projector. Check this out. This 27,000 Australian dollars JVC DLA NX9 8K projector is the playmaker in this room, featuring eShift technology pushing image standard to the next level. It delivers stunning images with 2200 lumens of brightness and a dynamic 1 million to 1 contrast ratio with automatic tone mapping and adjustment for HDR10. For me honestly guys, this is endgame equipment but Adam has taken it to the next level and added the Panamore Paladin DCR anamorphic lens which provides up to 48% more brightness and 43% more pixels compared to the Ultra HD letterbox projection for the brightest, most detailed movie experience in this home theater. Looking around the room for decor, it's very minimal as you guys can see, he's pretty much covered the walls with DIY acoustic panels with rock wool inside that's wrapped in red fabric, as well as professional panels from ATS Acoustics on the back entry door, front ceiling, side columns, and walls. Proceeding to the front, we have three Seacraft Stanza black leather 7000 recliners that look super comfy, and behind it is the Seacraft Heavenly Bella black couch that was initially in the front, but a bit of sacrifice was made in style for that perfect listening angle. Let's talk future plans. Well, some are in progress, but Adam's adding another 21-inch seat and subwoofer under his front center channel, which is nuts. He would like to also add some form of lighting to the room as it can be very dark at times. In fact, he had to get some floodlights to light up the room for this video. He'd like to also explore Alcon, Wisdom and JTR speakers for that next big upgrade. Of course, we'll be purchasing the next latest JVC projector as soon as it hits the market. And lastly, currently exploring them D-Box seats, which is most probably going to happen by the end of the year. That brings us to the end of today's room tour video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Help me out by hitting that like button and comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Adam has done an incredible job building this beautiful room and the crazy equipment in it is just mind blowing. And the amount of effort in detail he provided for this video was unreal and would have loved to show you guys, but I like keeping these room tours around the 10 minute mark, keeping them nice and simple. If you're after some home theater room inspiration, feel free to check out my playlist full of epic, almost hitting 30 episodes and many, many more in the near future. And in the meantime, make sure you're following me on my Instagram for all live updates, upcoming videos and giveaways. That's it for now, I'm Sarkis and thank you for the constant support. You guys are amazing. Take care and I'll see you guys soon in the next episode of Home Theater Room Tours, episode number 30. Better get back to work.